Crimea River, written and illustrated by Rodney McRae. Crimea River. The mountain stood at the top of the world and looked down upon me. Crimea River, I said, and I watched as shimmering tears ran down her chiselled features and around the bristled tussocks that framed her face like golden locks of amber hair. Crimea River, I said, and her tears welled up in crystal pools and cascaded out over polished stones, giving life to everything they touched. Crimea River, I said, and her river of tears met the tree line and was soothed by cool green moss and moist bark and lichen. Cry me a river, I said, and her tears flowed on through valley and thicket, growing stronger and richer, wider and deeper. Cry me a river, I said, and beneath the sparkling surface of her tears, life abounded and its forms took many shapes and colours. Cry me a river, I said, and her tears became a soothing playground for the children of the land and a quenching fountain for the animals of the forest and the fields and all the birds of the air. Cry me a river, I said, and her tears flowed out upon the clear land where the trees had once stood. Her tears grew cloudy as they mixed with the silt of the land and wasted fertiliser. Cry me a river, I said, and her tears darkened and weeds flourished in her pain and choked her with their numbers. Cry me a river, I said, and onward her, her river of tears struggled towards the sea as the fruits of human progress discharged themselves into her belly. Cry me a river, I said, but her crystal tears became like soup and no life could be nourished within them and her breath became strong and putrid. Cry me a river, I said, and at last her tears made union with the sea and the wake from her mouth discoloured her sister and forced her to drink poison. Cry me a river, I said, and the mountain replied, my tears are given freely to an earth that thirsts. The sun melts my snowy veil to bring life to the world, yet with each new fall of snow I see less clearly, and my eyes burn with sorrow. My tears of life are wasted on the greedy and the careless, and the sun's rays of hope are shaded by indifference. So cry me a river, said the mountain. So I cried me a river, and I cared for my river, and I ran with my river to the sea. When I reached the sea, it became clear, and I saw that with each new day a beginning is made, and from each new tear a river is born, and for each new problem a solution is sought. It's up to you and me. And that's the end of the story.